engineering one of the most sought after and highest paying career profession in the world from software engineering to mechanical or data scientist you just name the sector and these professionals would be some of the most sought after and in demand professionals in the corporate world and thus claiming some of the highest salaries in the job market but if you ask your engineer friend what actually do you do in your day to day work you will get to know that most of the time goes in searching problem on google stack overflow and other forums related to code because no matter how complex or difficult your problem actually was someone somewhere in this world has already faced it and might also would have come up with the solution and now as a highly qualified engineer your only job is to find that solution on stack overflow After all, why reinvent the wheel when someone already had made a Ferrari for you? To all the non-coders like me who don't know what Stack Overflow is, it's just like a Quora space but for coders, where just like Quora, people ask questions regarding their programs or code or glitch or errors, and a gentle soul tries to answer it. And you trust that person? You think that he knows what he's talking about, right? So. Now you must be curious as to why these software company pours hundreds of thousands of dollars on these engineers just for them to copy stuff from internet. Well, just like your relationship with your virtual girlfriend, it's complicated. Let me show you why. So I was trying to install this deep learning model in my laptop, and initially everything was going great, from finding the right repository, cloning it in my local PC. downloading the right ai model etc but the moment i click on run it showed an error well never mind after all your first try is also your worst try so i tried again and again and again and again the error just won't go all it showed on my screen was that the code cannot find a particular library that satisfies the requirement torch equal equal 1.13 blah 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 something that went straight up my head Why? Cuz I'm not an engineer. I'm an arts guy who is trying to learn to code. And right now I only know the bare bones of Python, which is definitely not enough to understand whatever this is. So I asked my brother, who actually is a software engineer. He started examining the error, starting from the specifications. You see throughout this whole process The deep learning module that I was trying to install was stable diffusion. Most of you might already knew about it. And for the installation, I was following this particular tutorial. And in the very beginning itself, the guy specifically mentioned all the necessary system requirements that are mandatory for this program to run. On Windows, press Control Shift Escape. This opens up Task Manager, and over on the left-hand side, click on Performance. Here if you see Nvidia in this list then that means that you have a discrete GPU or a graphics card. So that's good news. Right here you'll also want to verify that you have at least 4 gigabytes of dedicated GPU memory. Hmm. Well, 3.9 is approximately 4. No, it's not you dumb dumb. So it should work. After all, what's the worst that could happen? Oh, poor Satan. If only you have known. If only you have known. Why I say that? Well, you will find out in just five minutes. Just wait. So my brother started examining the code, and after reading it carefully, he concluded that this AI model didn't had a particular library installed of a version that satisfies the system's requirement. To the non-coders, let me simplify it. It is just why you can't install the latest Chrome because your Windows is too outdated. So. This was our initial hypothesis, and my brother started to search for this specific library on internet. He even succeeded in finding a particular library that looked like the one that the code was asking for. I simply copy pasted it, and by now, at this point, things should have been resolved. The story should have reached its climax, and we should have lived happily ever after. Except we didn't. So we literally tried everything that we could from checking a python version to manually checking that i have every available pip library installed i even asked chat gpt for his suggestion 
and as expected it gave me a generic answer but still the way it was handling my problem it was scaringly cold almost like a human but the difference was it was learning at the speed of light but still can resolve the bug and so i spent two days debugging this error without any progress next day 26th of jan after being brutally destroyed by this error i came back again for the round two so again we started out with trying to install this particular torch library but it was not simply working and to be honest it was at this point that i simply gave up you see i was stuck with this error for now more than three days and trying again and again to resolve this error without any progress was humbling to say the least but still for the last time i give it one last try and this time was different why i deleted everything from python anaconda git to the very ai model that i was trying to train and started everything from scratch again to be more precise i was following this particular video throughout this whole installation journey and this time my plan was to follow the whole tutorial again step by step whatever the man says I do it. Whatever version of Git he has, I install it. Whatever version of Python he has, I install it. Exactly that very version. Why I am putting so much emphasis on this point, you will see it later. And so, after doing everything again from start to finish, with my heart pounding full of doubt and fear, I pressed run for the last time. I'm working on it for now more than 4 days. It's not even that big of an error. It's just a one single missing library. How hard it could be. Don't know for what reason it's taking so long. After 4 days and hours of trying the code finally started to run. Why? I don't know. How? I don't know. What the hell did I did right this time? I just don't know. The only thing that I know right now is that after 4 days finally that bar has started to move and I don't want to disturb anything and anger the gods. As my engineer cousin put it perfectly, if the code runs, that's all that really matters. Trust me, I followed exactly the same steps that I was doing previously and this time it worked automatically. And you see the only difference that I could find out is that while trying to run this model previously I was using the python version 3.11.1 but in the video tutorial the person used the python version 3.10.6 and this time I installed exact that version from the very link that he provided. And apart from that, we don't really know what actually worked. And that got me thinking that even though engineers may use resources like Google and Stack Overflow to find solutions, the process of resolving a technical issue in programming even for an expert programmer can be a long and challenging journey. And that's the main reason why companies are willing to give even hundreds of thousands of dollars to these engineers to ultimately use Google to find solution. Because the very process of resolving a technical issue in programming even for an expert programmer can be quite long and challenging journey. Because first of all, not everyone can understand code and even those who can understand, understanding a piece of program and then finding a solution to resolve that bug or problem itself is a skill of its own. And even then also, sometimes anything and everything that you do simply doesn't work. And let me tell you this, that AI module that I was struggling to run for so long, at the end of the day, it didn't work on my PC. You ask why? Simple. GPU space. As I mentioned at the very start of this video, the most important requirement to run stable diffusion on your PC was to have at least more than 4 GB of dedicated GPU space to handle the immense amount of computing power that this program is going to need. I, on the other hand, with only 3.9 GB of free GPU space, was trying to run this model and then complaining why it's not installing. If only I would have consulted with my brother from the very start, 
I would never have wasted 5 days on this stupid program. Same is true for these big tech companies. You see, for me, 5 days was not that big of a deal. I was free anyway. That's why I was trying to learn something new. But for the big tech, a slight delay could easily cost them billions of dollars. And therefore, even if we look from the point of the business owners, spending few hundred thousand dollars on few talented individuals for running your billion dollar empire is a very minuscule cost. Just to prove my point, for an average engineer in Amazon, who is earning an average salary of around $100,000, which I should remind you are already very few, it would take for that employee at least 10 100,000. Holy shit. These many years to save as much money as Jeff Bezos have. And in other words, spending $100,000 on a really talented individual is not even the 1% of the total net worth of Amazon. And on the other hand, 100k is quite a huge chunk of money for a middle class person like us. It's also act in the form of golden handcuffs, helping them in holding on to their top talent. And trust me, ingenious, especially senior ingenious, are one of the most pampered human species on this planet. So in conclusion, even though ingenious may use resources like Google, Stack Overflow to find solutions, the very process of resolving a technical issue in a program, even for an experienced programmer, could be quite a long and challenging journey. And if you can resolve those issues faster and in a more efficient manner, that is what company is actually paying you for. After all, why reinvent the wheel when someone already had made a Bugatti for you?